Hi guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be reviewing the final episode of Doctor Who Series 10, The Doctor Falls. So kicking off, I'd like to say I love this episode. Um, Steve Moffat failed to um, ruin it or like mess about with it because it was really, really good. It was such a good finale. So let's talk about John Sim. John Sim was in this a lot, and he was one of my favourite parts of this episode. He was amazing in this whole story going on. Amazing character. And Missy as well, um, amazing character. So, first of all, yeah, we'll talk about the characters. We'll carry on. Peter Capaldi on his peak, or as always. Pearl Mackey was in this, not expecting to be, but a um, was a in it a lot. As she was seeing herself as a normal person, um, she was great. And Nardole was very good, very serious, probably his best episode yet. And yeah, so let's talk about the story. So it starts off um, very weirdly. There's this little girl, and there's all these scarecrows, which are like Cybermen, which ain't been um, upgraded yet, and they're all waking up or something. Um, and a massive spaceship crashes from the um, outside, well, downstairs they call it, into the upper elevator type thing. Top of the spaceship, pretty much. Um, and the Doctor is actually being held by Nar, not Nard, Nardle, what am I on about? <laughs> Bill, um, who is the Sandman, and he's being held like he's dead, um, which is very shocking. Um, and then it cuts to the credits, and then we're off. And there's a big, um, sp um, well, what would you call it? It's in the um, spaceship, the bottom half first, and um, the Doctor's trapped to a chair while the Master and Missy are both dancing. And what then? Um, he makes the Sandman turn on the Master, and they'll come up and he uses laser screwdriver which is amazing um and the escape of the sh spaceship i do like the bit when john sim like goes up into Na to Nardole and he says the doctor's dead he said he always hated you <laughs> i really enjoyed that part and then missy goes up and says it and then he says yeah i heard you the first time it was good and then they um pledge to save this orphanage which is like for the little kids and they want to upgrade all these kids and stuff and um, the doctor has said an amazing speech about winning and being on the right side and it's amazing it's an amazing speech and the master's like not uh, not missy but the master's like i see this look on my face remember it because i didn't listen to a word you just said that's what he says, and Missy said, that's all I've wanted to, and then they, when he says, stab me, but she doesn't. And then, they go back to escape, and she stabs the master in the back. And, um, so he's gonna die, and go back to his TARDIS. And then, Missy goes back to help the Doctor, and the master, John Sim, who's just been stabbed in the back by Missy, then shoots her with the laser beam. Um, screw oh, this laser screwdriver, which is amazing because and then like she can't regenerate, meaning that I think John Sim will now be the master. He's got to be because he'll change history now. He will help himself when he gets back to his TARDIS, and he'll be the master. Done. That's what I think will happen. Anyway, the Doctor regeneration. So it was jumping up and down a bit every now and then in the episode. And you could tell it was going to happen soon. Um, and it did tie in very well with the ending and the start of the finale um, last week. So that was really good. Um, then we have 
now that's the thing the regeneration at the end and Bill's ending was really good um, I did like the facts that Heather came back because the doctor did say if we go far enough we will find her and then Bill is now like her so that's good then we have the doctor having like a Tom Baker-esque um, type regeneration looking because like he notices all the companions that he's had um, like Rose, Martha, John Barrowman, he always said he wanted to be back in Doctor Who he's in it, kind of um, but that was a very good twist and then like David Bradley's the first Doctor I went shocked, being honest, because I saw pictures of David Bradley on set with um, two TARDISes, one was a classic one, one was a normal one so I'm not shocked, but I was very happy that he is in it, because I wanted that to happen now, let's get on to the down point, because there was down points, there's never a perfect look through the episode. So, I would say the Bondassian Cybermen stomping once again, I didn't like that, because in the Tenth Planet, no offence, but I know they didn't have the best audio tr tracking and all that, but they never stomped at all, they just walked about. And you can't change history like that, because this happened before the Tenth Planet, so it's like, have they turned off the stomp or something? in the South Planet. So, yeah. Then you've got them flying. I don't like the Mondasian Cybermen flying at all. I don't mind the Iron Man ones flying. And same with the Lunatic ones. Don't mind. I don't want the Lunatic ones to fly. And I don't want the Mondasian ones to fly. But those Iron Man ones, they flew in the first place, so I don't really care about them. Um, the actual um, special effects were pretty good. Um, that ain't a downside, because they were actually really good. Um, the actual ending to this episode, I felt fitting, a good ending for Bill. Oh god, I've got loads of minutes. Alright, so, let's talk about, wow, um, well, let's talk about the series on a whole. I think the series, it's not the best, it's not the worst by any means. I think it'll be in the top four for me. Um, it'll be fourth, third best series so far. And it's boosted up because of this finale. I think the only thing wrong with this whole series together is the fact the story arc, I didn't know what was happening with the story arc because I thought it was the vault. Then the vault got solved in episode 6. Then supposedly it was Missy being good. Missy weren't good. Um, but it was very weird, the weird plot. Um, because every time there's a series, even though in series 9 it weren't that good either, um, with the confession dial, it was very up and down and stuff, but it was a very jumpy plot, and it weren't the best, because the vault was a very good idea, I will say that, but it was a bit predictable that it was Missy, I'll be honest, because I thought it was Missy in the first place, um, I did want it to be David Bradley or John Sim, but it wasn't, it was just Missy, and I was very upset about that, really. Um, yeah, but then you have the memorable side of Doctor Who. Usually you have an episode which you all remember well. In this series, I'll, I can name a few which you won't remember. Which is sad, because you have, alright, so you have some good ones, like, the ones you would remember were probably the pilot, um... What the pilot probably remember the monk trilogy, even though it weren't the best. Do you remember that? Um, you remember the Empress of Mars definitely. I would, and you remember the what is it called? The this finale. Everything else, I'll, I'll explain why I think that because Smile, it was a pretty good episode. It's the worst in my opinion in the series. Um, I'd say Finice. It weren't that bad. It's not really memorable, is it? Knock Knock, I thought was great. A great episode, but not a memorable villain. Oxygen was pretty good. It had the spacesuit zombies, which again aren't memorable. The Monk Trilogy, I think, will be memorable because it was three bloody parts, um, which means you can't not remember that because you'll remember going through all that. Um, 
and yeah, Eaters of Light, don't get me started on that, I did not like that episode that much. Um, but it was still really, pretty good. Um, but yeah, the whole story of this episode was good. Um, Steve Moffat did tie it in well. I also liked um, the Doctor in this episode, and Nardole was by far his best episode, seriously saw him. And shows how he could change with the Doctor because the Doctor had a nice little speech about who's the strongest, and then Nigel fought on, yeah. So, yeah, the Missy and the Master worked really well together. I love the chemistry. Um, yeah, very good, um, I think. And, yes, there might be um, an extra bit on this video, being honest, because. I have got some things to show, but on the whole, this whole series was pretty good. It did not disappoint. It was not bad by any means. Um, some people find that they should have brought more classic monsters and stuff back. All I think is they brought John Sim and the Mundus Inside Men back. What more can you ask for? So, yeah, I think this series has been pretty good. I might actually, I'm not saying this 100%, I might do a series 10 talk, I don't know, Um, I could do, I, if I wanted to I could do because it's pretty easy to do but I don't know, it's up to you guys but for now I think Doctor Who, we've got time to take in for it and I did love the actual Mondasi and Simon when they were in it. Um, they weren't in it that much really in this part, which is sad because I didn't want them to be. I did want them to be in it more. They don't look that bad at all. Like when they say like, "Oh yeah, they don't look as good as they did because like the like classic." They looked great. Like Bill's Simon version looked excellent. So overall, I'm gonna rate this episode. I'm going to rate it a 9.5. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please drop a like, why not subscribe. See you later. Hope you enjoyed this whole series of reviews. And yeah, see you all later.